Joining us now is Karen Finney, DNC Communications Director and Obama supporter. And uh, Karen, what do you make of the, the, stand, the standing of the race right now in Missouri? Well, obviously, we were pleased to see the crowd uh, today in Missouri, and things are looking good. But as Senator Obama himself said, we're not taking anything for granted. And I have to tell you, as somebody who's been in uh, politics for some time, it's not just looking at what happened in New Hampshire, but also 2000 and 2004. So we know we've got to work hard all the way through Election Day, not take it for granted. Former Secretary of State Colin Powell is going to be on Meet the Press tomorrow. There's a lot of anticipation about uh, what he's going to say when he's on. Um, would it be a disappointment to Democrats if he does not endorse Barack Obama? Well, you know, I think we should wait and see what uh, Secretary of State Powell actually says. Far be it from me to put words in his mouth. Um, it would be obviously wonderful if he did endorse Senator Obama. But, you know, we've gotten support from uh, Republicans and independents from across the country, prominent ones and, you know, working people. And so we're very gratified by that. On, uh, I'm looking at my notes here and it says on Thursday Barack Obama um, bought some airtime in West Virginia. Why mm -hmm. West Virginia of all places? And when some Democrats would say, you know what, maybe that money would be better spent in one of these states where at yeah. least you know for sure you need to have it. Well, you know, one of the things I think we've seen in the last few weeks, uh, fueled in part by what's happened in the economy, and I think you're seeing voters who are looking at both candidates and seeing how they've reacted to the crisis. I think they've been really pleased with the strong, decisive leader they've seen from Barack Obama. I think that's why you've seen some of these numbers kind of starting to lean more our way and maybe in some places those numbers uh, are widening. So in a place like West Virginia, why not go there? I mean, Barack Obama has made it clear from the beginning that uh, he's going to fight hard everywhere. Obviously, you know, here at the DNC, we've had the 50 state strategy in place and we're going to, you know, fight for every vote. So uh, why not? And voters in West Virginia should hear the message of change just as much as anybody else. Michelle, what was your reaction to uh, Michelle Bachman, who was the, uh, I'm sorry, Karen, what was your reaction to Michelle Bachman uh, last night? She was on Hardball and she said that some members of Congress should be investigated for possibly being anti-American. Yeah, I, I thought that was really out of bounds and inappropriate, and I know others have spoken out about that. I mean, that kind of talk really has no uh, place in, in this election. Everybody loves this country, and we're having, you know, what we need to focus on is an honest discussion about how we go forward. Barack Obama has laid out one very clear vision to bring change to Washington, to bring tax cuts to 95% of the American people. Senator McCain has laid out a very different vision, and so it's for the American people to decide which vision uh, they agree with and they, they want to see brought to the White House. But again, we all love America, and we all want to see you know America do great, and we want to see the people of America do great. So questioning patriotism, you know, that's like those nasty, ugly, hateful robocalls that we see the McCain campaign using. That just really has no place in, in the election at this point. Karen Finney, DNC Communications Director and an Obama supporter. Karen, thanks for coming on. Good to be with you.